Hi friends! Recently I have been messing up with decoding car remotes or the signal that the car remote sends when we press a button. So first let's see how it works. When we press the lock button, the light bulb is gonna be turned on. When we press the unlock button, it is turned off. So for this kind of small project, I used Arduino Nano. That is the microcontroller that controls the relay and puts the values in a condition. This is a 433 megahertz module. It is the receiver. We've got a sender. Here is the sender, but I'm not going to use it in this particular project. We've got a relay. So when we press the button, the receiver receives the signal. The microcontroller uses if clause and puts the values and accordingly triggers the relay. That is the working principle. Pretty simple. And here the wirings are are simple so one wire goes through the relay to the lamp and the other wire goes directly i wrote the schematics here please pause the video and follow them up i wrote or something else a relay or something else i want to tell you that if you if you understand if we understand the the core basics behind of it we're going to be able to control anything in our house it doesn't have to be a lamp it can be anything else it can be a computer it can be a boiler boiler i don't know toaster you get the point and we don't have to use just a relay so we can use some other components uh, so a transistor optocoupler you get the point so yep uh, also be careful because here we have high voltage in my country we've got 220 volts so if we touch it it can kill us so please be careful in order to this particular code to work properly we've got to have a 433 megahertz uh, remote car remote and also it has to be with fixed code what does it mean there are a lot of japan cars that use such remotes like suzuki cars there are a lot of uh, garage remotes and chinese aftermarket alarm systems they they all use such remotes and how, how do they work? So when we press the button, it sends the same code every time. So when I press the lock button, it sends the same code. They're not very secure, but they're great for such products, such projects. Uh, so that, that's basically it. And also we've got uh, remotes with uh, rolling code. Uh, what does it mean? So when we press the button, they change the, the code every time. So they use some kind of algorithm behind of it. So when we, when we press the button, it is going to change and calculate the next code that it is going to send. Some of the German cars like Volkswagen, they use such remotes. So, yep. Let's see the code. And here is the code that I wrote. At the beginning, we should include the RC switch library. We need that library in order to be able to communicate with the module. In the setup function, we should include some settings, like settings related to the serial monitor, settings related to the module, uh, some relay settings, and, and so on. And in the main loop, uh, we should include this code. Uh, the code is consisted out of one if clause. What I actually did, I saw the values that were given by the function, copied and pasted them here. Uh, so when I pressed the lock button, this code uh, was being given. And when I, when I press the unlock button, this code uh, was being returned by the function. So that's basically it. And 
I'm sending a high or low voltage uh, depending on the state to the relay pin. Uh, so the code is, is going to be uploaded on GitHub, so you can use it if you like. Uh, so it is it for now, guys. Thanks and have a nice one.